big box in the mail today. Let's open her up and let's build us a base. All right, this is uh, the short scale base kit from Solo Guitars uh, out of Canada. Um, I've just taken it out of the box here. Uh, it looks like all the parts are there. Uh, sadly, one of the pickups looks like it was the magnet was broken, but I'm just gonna glue that glue that back in place. Not a big deal, and because uh, I plan on uh, putting some uh, probably Elnico Five pickups in it later on, anyways. But overall, this is a really nice kit. I'm impressed. Uh, I think it's just a basswood body, and I've put uh, a quick coat of oil on it just to uh, get the wood soaking things up. And I did a light sanding, but the neck is maple, and it is nice. I mean, even the fret ends. I mean, I didn't even have to file them. Um, I haven't tested them for level, but by eye, they look pretty good. I mean, this is a beautiful neck. Uh, like I say, I've just put a quick coat of linseed oil on there. And I'm going for kind of a aged orangey look on everything. Um, so what I'm using here is um, I've just taken some lins double boiled linseed oil. And I've added uh, a little bit of um, orange uh, just plain artist oil paint to it. I've been using it on violins in the past and it seems to work really well. Um, anyways, it comes with a, this one came with a nice tortoise shell pit guard. Um, all the, the tuners are in the package there. Let's see if we can open, actually I'm not going to open that now, we'll do that in the next shot. Came with the uh, package of strings. Uh, all the hardware seems to be present. So, yeah, so that's just, uh, just a quick initial shot. And here we have the body with all the hardware mounted. I have lined the inside of it with copper foil tape. And, uh, yeah, we're just about ready to mount the neck. Here we have it. And I got to screw that bridge down yet. So stay tuned. The last screw for the neck. Cinch that baby down. There we go. Bridge is down now. Okay, let's drill a hole for the rear peg. And that's that step. Okay, and we'll get the uh, the tuning head ferrules, I think they're called, installed here. Hopefully they're going smoothly. Yeah. 
Alright, let's go put one in there. Next one in here. And you get the idea. Next shot, we'll be putting the tuners in. And time for the tuning keys. Phillips screwed over here. That one started. Get that one started. Third one's a charm. And the fourth one um, now that I've got those all started and it looks to me like the holes that they've pre-drilled are exactly where they need be so we'll be back once those are all uh, cinched down and here we go this is our last screw for the tuning machines let's just get that Right down there nice and snug and that's that step of the job done uh, our next step will be to uh, I gotta find a, uh, a screw for the for the string tree because they forgot to give me one and uh, then we will uh, test fit the strings and uh, check the nut and maybe break out the nut files and fine-tune that check the action and plug her in and here's the shielding tape that I'm using uh, it's called uh, elk copper foil tape with dual conductivity uh, supposedly uh, the adhesive is conductive as well which is really important that way when you overlap the tape everything makes one continuous uh, connection uh, really important when you're shielding the inside cavity Yeah, one set of base strings. I'm not sure how good they are, but uh, and base strings are expensive these days, so it's really good that they came with it. Sam, he's up and he's out. Is that your skunk? Is that your little skunk? Good girl. Good girl. Say hello to everybody. Okay, time to get some strings on here. Okay, I think I got the largest one here. And if we can get it undone. Okay, there we go. Let's run that in the bridge. And I'm going to try two pegs pass. That's all I used to do with my telecaster, so I hope it's right for the base. Cut that in the telecaster strings. There we go. Okay. 
gets a few wraps on there. I'm not sure if I got the right amount of length for these or not, but we shall see. Yeah, it looks like the length is going to be just about right. And, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to, uh, looks like I'm definitely going to have to file that knot down a little bit because that's higher action than I like, but we will see. Well, I've got to bring the bridge down a little bit too, so we might be all right. Well, let's give her a quick test, uh, see how she sounds. I'm not a bass player, but uh, we'll give her a shot anyways. short scale bass kit out of Ontario, Canada. Give them a call. Uh, I'm very pleased and I'm going to be building more of their kits. See you next time.